Oh, fucking up. It's brilliant. <laughs> like, I am legitimately enjoying this. I'm just trying to play the part of being pissed off. Because that's what I normally do. You don't have to be so salty. Oh, I'm good at being salty, though. No, be you. No. I like being salty. It's fun. <laughs> And to be fair, I actually was generally pissed off that the fact that for some reason I fucked up. For some reason you fucked up, you Wait. mean that you were crap? No. You I'm not up. crap at this game, that's the worst part. I actually just genuinely did fuck up. I think it was a genuine mistake for once, which is weird. Normally, yeah, 100% like of the shit. games I've seen you play, mm -hmm. you fucked up. No, that's a lie. Yeah? You fucked up in this game? Once. So 100% of the games you. I've seen all you right. play. I thought you meant all games we've played together. Fair enough. I'll let you off on that <laughs> one. You ready? <laughs> yep. Okay, three, two, one. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Hearts of Iron 4 with my friend Nick uh, on a tale of two colonial governors. Let's get on with it. Don't worry, Joe, you can stay in my flat while yours is being renovated by the Americans. <laughs> I can't believe how slowly they're moving. We can't. I can't see how many troops I've got and stuff. But... Oh, no, I can't either, because I didn't build any radar, because there was literally no point. So, but they're literally right on my fucking border of my capital, and they just sat there like, there's no troops there, That's, we should be invaded. Nah, fam, be fine. <laughs> They could just literally walk across the border, take my fucking capital, and I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I would look instantly capitulate from that. No, they could take that and then take St. Montreal, and then I definitely would capitulate, because that's the only two important provinces I uh, cap uh, prop the states I own, or whatever. Yeah. But, nope, they're just fucking Japan refusing to, which is... gave um, Vietnam to the Germanies. Hmm, fair enough. Indochina, Laos, and Token, or Tonkin. You, where's the nearest port? We're on the wrong side. God damn it! That doesn't really make any difference, but still, it's annoying. Well, hopefully my troops will survive my death. We yeah, can live in hope, not Joe. this fucking. The AI is normally much more savage when it comes to fucking trying to capitulate you. The Americans just... They just seem a bit tame at the moment. Maybe they think that there's no one on the border, so they think it's a trap. <laughs> They're walking forward, waiting for the Canadians to um, jump out and kill it's them. A goddamn trap. <laughs> By the way, the men I gave you are not on strategic redeployment anymore. You may want to change that. Well, they were. You, did you change their orders? Yeah, they're on it now. You I, have to re-click again. You have to re-click the port after you put strategic order on, because it doesn't automatically click it. There we go, now they're on strategic redeployment. Are they still on it? Yeah, they have no... They have no yeah, um, when they have, as long as they have no organisation, they're on it. Why are you I think there? it's because you changed their movement. Like, did you change where they were moving originally? I added. I, I had just had them go into the port, and then I told them no, go then, to. Yes, um... that's why it fucked up. Yeah, but I've just done it again, and this time it was fine. Yeah, no, that's because this time I remember to check that it was there. I'd be oh no, Liberia! Well, we're definitely fucked. Fuck. GG, no re, guys. We can't win this one. You can't win them all, can you? Can you, Nick? I can. Honestly, I have I an advantage over the AI. Me. I can modify the game. <laughs> Isn't that called cheating? No, it is called using everything at my disposal. Fair enough then. By the way, this war just literally got so much harder now. Because of the fact that America's troops are just going to be everywhere. Yay! They took my capital, and I now have, I'm 42% towards capitulation. Just for bigger joke. What? If we both capitulate, the faction would still live. 
Although, actually, uh, somehow... Uh, Spain, you're being stupid. Get your troops no, off the wouldn't. border with Portugal. No, it wouldn't. Why not? If we both capitulated, we would lose, because we're the only major powers in our faction. Wait, wait. But they had more stuff than us. It's factory-wise that determines a major power. All right, fair enough. And they only just have less than that. Holy Woo! shit! That's two of the great po four great powers we need to beat um, uh, the allies. I did my bit. Well, not neither of us were going to end up invading fucking America, so uh, not America, England. So we would still be in a ball, like in a bind. Sorry. Yeah, I'm I'm slightly disappointed though because I wanted to try and grab some land up near Iran. And then, like, go into uh, yeah, area. I mean. Yeah, I think we. I think I know who we should play as next. Who? Oh. I'll tell you when we get to it. That's no spoilers, fun. man. Huh? That's no fun. Well, it is because yeah. I've got. An, I've got. A, I've got a little idea about it. And it's definitely. It's going to be um, a lot more. Um, it's going to be um, just as hard as this, but a bit more fun. In the sense of, we're not gonna be shot on by the game straight away. And like, like, if we fuck up, we're not gonna have the problem of Canada being boarded with one of the biggest powers in the world. You should have managed them better. <laughs> to be fair, I'm never gonna be a fucking American unless we attack them day one. To be fair, that's that's genuinely wouldn't I wouldn't have not beat them unless it was day one because Jesus Christ, they can shit out a lot of troops. Their industry is. Well, no, 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 I actually it, it love their industry. Still completely your fault. Oh yeah, because we didn't attack them day one. I will no, admit no, no, that no, was no, my no, fault. No, 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 no. No, Nick, if Nick, we will not. We, I legit. This is tr fact. We would not have beat them unless we attacked them day one. No way would I have been able to produce enough troops. If we hadn't gone tactics. historical focus, they might not have joined. Still your fault. No, they would have. They've got they they've got um a national focus that may, like gets them to join. Yeah, but they don't always take it, or it pushes them in that way. Yeah, they do. They take all of them eventually. So it would have happened sooner or later. By the way, um, as Canada, we would still be still have been a ball like to invade England. That's the biggest problem of this. I'm working my way over. Oh yeah, we get you're gonna get there. It's just like I said, it will always be too late, which is the problem. But hey, at least you did better than me. That's not really a big achievement, but still, you did better than me. I didn't fail as bad as Joe. But I was playing as Canada. You said we're better than Australia, but you lied. No, they were. You have 50% more population. You had more factories. How many core population do you have? <sighs> Tell me oh. how many core, how much core, come on. Eligible core population was 7.16 million. I only had 3 million more than you, which in manpower wise is not actually that much. 50% so, okay, yeah, I... more! What I said! 3 million more is not 50% actually, thank you. It's like not far off! Like My core population has actually gone up from the start of this. I don't know who's currently considered core, but... Still, alright. Point, next point, you started out with more dockyards than me, and you wanted me to build a navy, which was dumb. That was dumb thing number one. Uh, I had more factories than you, but you had more civ factories, which means you could build more no, factories than me. No, I built more civ factories no. at the start. I built more civ factories at the start, but the point is you started with more civ factories I than didn't. me still. Yes, you did. I didn't. Yes, you did. I will go back and watch fucking part one if I need to, mate. No, I know I'm for sure fact I didn't. More... You, you had an extra text I'm looking, slot. I'm fucking looking. You had an extra text slot. What does fucking tech mean? Okay, wait, there we go. Muted. And you also didn't um, waste your tech slot like I was doing. I'm not dumb. That was part of the thing. Yeah, it was dumb, hence why I didn't do it. You know I'm not going to do stipulations unless they're, like, not stupid. I never capitulate. I don't actually have to. Oh fuck! Power one does not show the. When I'm, I didn't never showed my factions in power one, which was dumb. Instead of doing that, you know, just keep playing the game. Then between episodes, we could load one up and see. Do you know I'm legitimately not doing anything? You have all my troops, so I literally can't do anything. <laughs> Mostly because I don't want them to disappear when I when I get capitulated. 
so. I honestly thought you'd be dead by now. Yeah, so did I, to be honest. They're doing a shit job of invading me. I know for a fact they have a lot of men on my border. They're just doing a sh shit job of taking land from me. The AI is normally so much more aggressive than this. I don't understand why they're being so, like, casual about invading me. Like, I'm actually genuinely confused. I would make a comment about, you know, you're always confused, but... Yeah, I'm not, though, so... Depends who we asked. Maybe a dumb comment. Do you, you do wind me up sometimes, I'll admit that. <laughs> you really wind me up sometimes. That's the whole point! I know it is. <laughs> Uh, I like Southern India. I'm slightly disappointed how well the Japs did, though. That's not normal. Yeah, Japs, are, yeah, Japs are really fucking good in this game, as long as they beat China. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. I don't think I've seen... I... Fair enough, I've watched limited numbers of them, but the suppose I've seen, I've always seen Japan struggle. They've yeah, won half of the wars I've seen them do, so... It all right. depends, really. Ball of Gibraltar! Yeah, our faction did something! Yeah, also Greece is invading nationals. Wow. Greece has been. Uh, nationalist Spain has been invaded by fucking Greece. Yeah, I saw that a bit ago. But to be How honest. Oh, you know you've fallen. You've been invaded by Greece. Yeah, but they're the troops. For, oh, they've taken Gibraltar back. <laughs> and they've lost Cadiz. If they would, like, stop garrisoning and stop putting troops on the freaking. The worst thing is they don't even need to garrison, that's the worst part. I really wish a USA would just end my suffering. Also, Germany sat on the border with nationalist Spain instead of taking land from France in Africa. And they're watching the British and French troops kill the Spanish troops. Because they're not allied in the war. They might not be allied, but if it was me, I'd be thinking, let's run behind them and shoot them in the back. Yeah, we're <laughs> not the AI, though, are we? We're smarter than the AI. Well, somebody's going to yeah, capitulate yeah. soon. So? Something yeah. wrong capitulate. Yeah, all the AI has capitulated yet. So? It still doesn't mean shit. Some of the AI managed to outlive you. They were smarter. Some of the AI have fucking decent islands and are not bordered to the biggest superpower in the world, who's not China, because China died. Bastards. China hadn't died, I'd be fine. Mostly because we wouldn't have declared war on the fucking idiots known as the Allies. We would have been at war with Japan by now. Actually, I can't figure out which... I can't decide which have been stupider. To declare war on the Axis of the Allies, which do you think? Um... I still think the declaring war on the Axis would have been worse. I think it would have, because they wouldn't be able to get many troops to us. If we'd managed to do the original plan of sort of hiding in the Allies and then taking stuff, that Which, would have worked. Mm, it worked somewhat, but it wouldn't have worked well enough. We would have been dicked over because the game, just that's how the game works. Like, the, the peace conferences... England would have definitely come first, then America because of the casualties, and we would have probably really got no choice of what we got. And it really does matter how much we get. Which is like the peace offers they like the AI will just take a shit. They'll pop it literally everyone when they can. So it would have been a ball like fighting them afterwards, so it was either die then or die now, and die now seems much more fun. Yeah, I've managed to take enough 70%. land that I could hold a cricket tournament. Wait, what? Well, I've got Southern India. It's not the whole thing, but yeah, I could probably put a good uh, cricket team together. I get what you mean. I'm I taking Sri Lanka. I've got Australia. Don't make, don't make shitty cricket references, mate. You know I hate cricket. <laughs> you know I hate cricket. I like the fact so that there's shit. literally nobody on Sri Lanka, by the way. My little one guy who went over there is just you know, going for a little stroll around it.
Ich sag, wir sammeln fahren. Ja. Anyway. 3% there. Oh, I thought that was me then, but it's not. That was Yugoslavia. Yep. You should I'm be so lucky. I'll pitch that in a second, though. Still 3% towards capitulation. Until, sorry, not towards, until. Hey, look, America finally got the thumb out of their ass and started doing a proper invasion. I really don't like fighting America, they're cunts. I think if we if I hadn't been bordering them, they would have sent all their troops abroad, so invading them would have been much easier. But starting directly bordering them means that like, they had all their troops next to me. I By the way, look in, you, you may want to look in it. Singapore. Pardon? You may want to look in Singapore and see how many troops there are. 38. Hmm. You really ain't going to break that, by the way. Shouldn't my subs be stopping them doing this? Or at least... You know, you'd think, told this, wouldn't you? You'd think that at least that there'd be you know, warning saying, "Oh yeah, we're engaging them, stopping them." This. You would you think you'd think that convoy raiding would stop convoys transporting troops. Apparently not, which makes yeah. no fucking sense actually. Saying that's pissed me off actually because you'd think that it would stop it, but it doesn't. Which... I, mean, I do actually have a, a navy again. -ish. I have a navy working in this thing. Singapore region as well, doing search and destroy. I don't yeah. anymore, actually, apparently. We don't know where the fuck it's gone, but I had a navy doing it. I have subs, but don't seem to have seen combat. My destroyers have killed stuff, so, I mean, I'm... 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 Ex I'm ex Although... I'm... What a... I don't know, that's the other fleet. Damn it. I had more subs, so the American fleets just came and been a dick. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, One of my... Uh, one of my... Sh uh, destroyers? Oh, no, this is a cruiser. Kill the, the USS Wasp, a carrier. <laughs> Good on it. Holy shit, am I? I love glass cannon navies. They're hilariously good. Because you seriously don't need a proper navy. You just need glass cannon, but managing navy is still a bar like. Right, USA, I'm 1% towards until the capitulation. Just end it, come on. Don't be a dick. Yeah, it's like Stop drawing this out like the cunt you are. Yeah, somehow they still, still the managed to get supply when we have subs specifically stop trying to stop that. Did, see, so see one of the, some of the reasons I hate about not playing as a major nation? It makes no sense. In this case, it's not could... the major nation thing, it is just the game. Hats of Iron no, 3 would let you do no, this. Minor, you, could, no, it's you could actually nations, starve people out. No, yeah, no, but it's a minor nation thing. If minor nations did that, I had that major troops on plebrons, it would actually be bad and we'd be able to beat them. America and England, no. Even Axis, even Germany doing that. It seems to be the great powers can just shit, sit like sit like 50 troops in one province. The game will not penalize them. The a player or a minor nation does it, the game will shit on them. It, it honestly makes no sense to why the game's like so. Like, even with a historical focus on you, you didn't think it would favor them so what much. It's like Lucky Nation without being able to turn it off. And this is it. Yeah. The second. This is only the second time I'm ever gonna have capitulated. Loser, loser. <laughs> Bagger, Bagger. Nah, I don't smoke. Yeah. Okay. I've got actually a second army being built, but I really don't have anywhere to put it. It's like, even if I wanted to go over to you now, there's... Would I be able to get from... Vancouver Island to do anything? Probably not. One Venezuelan guy is defending... Oh, well, he'll be Hyundai dead soon. Island, though. Oh, well, he'll be dead soon. Not my problem. We'll have to actually have to do a naval invasion, though. There's no straight there, so... I think he, he chose a clever place to do it. No, Americas will fuck him up. They What's Halifax like for a capital, by the way? <sighs> no clue, I couldn't give a shit. <laughs> there we go. Right, so now what do I do to try and give you your troops back? 
if they're still you just, here. Uh, you just disband them. I mean, yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, they are. Um, Worked. Is there any quick way of just selecting them all? No. Shift click. Well, yeah, you know, you just you no, know, you just look at them and just look at the play, look at where they are, just click them, because you can tell which are mine and which are yours. But before it's I actually just disband obvious. them, is it? Can I? Let's see if I can just cancel expeditionary. There is no such thing as canceling expeditionary. Dis, 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 uh, uh, disbanding them is canceling it. You can't, there's no other way to do it. All right, I just didn't want to. So they'll go back oh. to you. They won't actually yeah, be disbanded. Yeah, they will go back to me. I, I know that for a fact they'll come back to me, so don't worry about it. Yeah, that's your army. I have troops again. The others are here. Um, I'm sure I've missed some. Where are they? <laughs> you have. No, you haven't. We start the timer again. What? Ash, you can't. We have to end the part here. We hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next part. See you guys then. See you later.